All right, guys, <clears throat> another quick video. Uh, some of you have asked to show the car a little bit because a lot of you don't live here in Grand Rapids area, so that's about as good as I can do in the garage right now. But yes, 64 Malibu. The paint is, uh, I think it's 2006 Corvette Z06 Atomic Orange for everybody that asked. But we're going to do... Uh, more unboxing. Three to do down here. So next up is trying to get all this cooling accomplished in the front of the car. Uh, this here is an air to air intercooler. I guess Shire Fabrication built this with me. Uh, took probably about six months to get through all the design process, laying out everything, getting the design approved. Uh, this is a four inch. Got vibrant clamps that are going to hold, hold all the tubing. These are quick chain. I think these are going to be pretty nice. This thing is heavy, so I won't have to bolt any weight in the front of the car to keep it down, that's for sure. But uh, next is the radiator. Jim or Klein got a pretty good, uh, got me a pretty good deal on this radiator. I think it came from All Star. Stuff that on there for now. So this thing came, it came with a female 20 AM bung right here. You can put this fitting in there for your upper hose. I was really hoping I could have AM fittings on everything. But down here, this did not come with an AM fitting. It did not come with this female bung either. It, it looked stock with a tube that came off. But on an angle like that, pointed right at your water pump. Use a normal uh, hose clamp. I wasn't able to keep that. I'll show you here in a minute when I show you the uh, brushless fan setup that I bought. When you set it on here, it hit right through the center of this tube. So I cut the tube off. Bought a Dash 20 ORB female fitting, welded it on there. I was hoping to put a AM fitting here, which means I would need an AM fitting on my water pump. And that wasn't gonna work. I'll show you that in a minute. So I ended up going back to a, just a stock tube that will thread into this 20 ORB. Bought a billet cap from uh, Billet Specialties. Now on from there. I bought this Dural Performance dual electric fan setup. And the reason I decided to go with this instead of like a stock uh, Chevy Volt or some people use the Cobalts or Silverado pickup fan setup, um, that was gonna be an inch thicker in width than what this setup is. And the front of this car is so short, I really could use that inch. So I decided to spend the big, big, big dollars and get this instead. Let me, let me reach, uh, set this camera down. I'll set that on here for a second. So that's going to sit right there. These came clocked in a different configuration so that the electrical was going out the sides. I didn't really like that. Four bolts, easy twist. Put it right back in again. You can see this is going to clear now. It doesn't quite fit tight to the surface. It's up. A, it's uh, about an eighth of an inch wider than what this is. What the radiator is, so I do have to trim it off a little bit and get it set in there a little bit nicer before I put it in place. But that's going to sit right there like that.
this top hose, again, 20 AN, that's gonna go up to this manifold. And these four are gonna plumb into Dave Bisner's intake he made for me. Two in the back and two up front. And then the bottom one down here, kind of stock looking, is going to go up to this water pump. Mr. Christ got me this from Holly. It's a frostbite. Some people say they don't work very well. It's got the same flow rating as all the other expensive stuff. So we're gonna give it a try since, it, since I got, uh, I can't remember, he gave me a great deal on this thing. But here's the stock tube for a stock uh, hose clamp. I was hoping to be able to unscrew this and buy a dash 20 AM like over here, but those threads in there are a unique, not standard thread. So whoever's manufacturing these CNC and both of these parts for Holly decided to make up their own thread. So at that point I was either gonna use, I'd have to use this one, the way it's designed and sold, or make my own on my lathe, bring it out, put a 20 AN male nipple on the end of it, have it anodized. It's not like a real pain in the butt. So that's, uh, that's why I decided just to go back to the straight fitting instead of an AN. It'll be fine. So that's the boxing for today. Hope you enjoy the videos. A lot to do here. See ya.